You know, every time I look at these, I dread the day that is very quickly approaching where I will be using every single one of these markers in one video. Why? <laughs> What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack and welcome to a brand new video where we are back tackling yet another one color marker challenge. Today, mixing our two previous videos to make purple. Hey, I didn't decide this. My lovely subscribers voted in the thousands on a community poll here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and you can too. Hang on. In the previous video, I exposed my vision issues with a specific range of shades within the reds and a couple of blues. Now I see why you voted purple. <sighs> well, joke's on you. I don't have any problems with purple. But if, like me, you also have difficulties with color picking, or maybe you just want to find colors that work best together, my good friend and fellow creator here on YouTube, Sarah Renee Clark, has just released her brand new color cube, available for pre-order today, or you can get the digital color catalog right now. She's also been super kind enough to make me an affiliate of hers. So if you do make a purchase, I get a little something, you get a little something. There will be links down below in the pinned comment under this video. And trust me, you're gonna wanna get these things. They are amazing. I actually can't wait to get my own color cube because it just looks so pretty and well, I got space for it, so yeah. Ah, it's like magic. I mean, I still had to get them all out, but I did just the little victories in life. I won't lie, this one was actually satisfying to remove the colors, as I knew I wouldn't own as many purples as the blues and the reds. I felt pretty confident. Is that it? Now, I did run into some problems with the color picking, particularly with the pinks, as some of these pinks are actually named purples, which I don't know about you, but they look pretty pink to me. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna cut myself some slack here and I am not going to include pink colors. However, to offset this, what I have done is included colors like violet and lavender, which I don't know if they're actually purple, but I gotta, I gotta make it a little bit difficult, right? Speaking of making it difficult, Spider-Man. Yeah, so Spider-Man, I'm intending to color this red and blue character purple. Kind of, kind of on the nose a bit there, huh? Now this is actually a really, really good Spider-Man book. And those of you who are familiar with the channel or longtime viewers probably remember this from an old, old video. This is a really nice book though, full of, okay. And amazing, <laughs> what is, what is this? Uh, that's a bit lazy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, ah, oh, there's even more words? D hey, there we go. So there is some actual artwork in this book and it's actually not too bad. There's some really unique images in here. I'm not sure how official they are, but oh wow. Okay, that is like, that's probably one of the coolest images I've ever seen. Who doesn't love Spider-Man on a bike? Yeah, as I was saying, like the images in this book are actually really, really good. It's full of creative images and obviously very dynamic poses too with... That's a really nice picture. Up. Oh. <laughs> Look at his butt. It's a spider butt. I... Hmm, don't know what's going on there. Re Aha, here we go. So this is the original image that we did from my very early episode of the Coloring Book series. I wonder how many of you remember this one. I went... A little bit over the top with this one. It's it's a uh, we created quite a scene here, and I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's not the best artwork I've ever done, but it definitely looks pretty good. Actually, it's quite a complete scene. So yeah, it pretty much sets the bar high. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna work with this page. It's a great looking Spider-Man. The only issue with it being that it is right in the middle of the page, but this is a great picture. There is nothing going on in the backgrounds, which means we've got a lot of creative space here to do anything we want. I just really wish he wasn't right in the middle. Ah, anyway, let's get started. Oh -ha. Now, as we don't have many markers to play around with here today, I feel much less stressed about my approach. That said, 
being faced with such a simplistic image means a lot can go wrong. So I figured I would use the gift of technology to help me in my rough planning. Now usually I don't plan out these things and I just let them happen, but why not? I want to mix it up here today. Now there's been a lot of demand on my channel for anime styled content and in the spirit of making my life harder, I'm going to apply an anime inspired style to our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. This is by no means a specific anime, nor would the coloring necessarily be in an anime style, but the effects and the powers, that is what I'm looking for here today. Now the first pen to be selected needs to be our darkest for the line work. Oh boy. We don't have a dark fine liner like we did in the past two challenges. What we do have, however, is this Ohuhu brush nib. This is lucky because of all the brush markers, these guys have the finest points. That by no means makes this process any easier. Controlling a brush, even one as good as this, yeah. Mm, okay. An even bigger issue has arisen immediately. This marker is bleeding heavily on this paper. So the line work is going to need to be done very, very carefully. Suddenly there's more pressure. And with that out of the way, marker one is done. I'm actually happy so far. I feel a bit of a scene coming along. A way of making this piece even more dynamic. So, moving on. I had a tough decision to make with the shades of purples and opted to use the lavender-like ones as a cheeky way of implementing a light effect in the foreground. Decisions like these, in my opinion, are the most important in these challenges, ensuring that we utilize our values as best as possible. I learned this through both of my previous episodes, something I never valued until tackling this challenge. It doesn't mean using a completely different color or shades or tones. It means carefully placing them to highlight the areas that you want highlighted. Pulling the viewer's eyes to the areas that you, as the creator, wish to. And fortunately, with this technique, I abused the privilege and burned through the lavenders. There might have been a few violets in there too. Successfully knocking out a third of the markers purely in effects alone. And that's not even including the remainder of the background accounting for an even further third. However, there were some issues that arose during this process that did surprise me. The line work began bleeding out, which was surprising as I had given it a full day to dry. This complicated things and leaves me in a position where I'm going to be forced to adapt to another style. As an artist, you have to be open to the idea that what you create isn't always within your control. Much like life, there comes a point where things just don't work out. And what's left to do is adapt. My adaptation comes in the form of my go-to safety net. Lines and dots. Everywhere. I make unplanned and chaotic markings which work to imbalance my piece, therefore hiding mistakes. This is a safety net that I created for myself and it's something that helps me when I make mistakes and gives me confidence when going forward with anything, any decisions that I make in artwork. It's very important that you, as a creator, figure out what is best for you, what will help you, what will be your safety net. But with the background done, something I've learned so far is just how difficult it is to plan out your next move when using only one color. By adding effects, particularly the lighter ones, there's a constant battle between which goes down first leading to scenarios like today where I have been unable to add effective shadows and details to the ground without ruining those effects. But anyway, it's time to begin Spider-Man himself. And for this, I've chosen to use the purple with a little bit more red.
I am absolutely so happy that I waited to use these purples for Spider-Man himself. These just pop. They glow, they're very vivid, they're very bright, and they work to really push him to the foreground. That doesn't mean this was really easy because I still had several markers left and was doing my best to burn through all of them as quickly as possible, which meant some inaccuracies in my shading, some of the colours may not match all the way through. In fact, one of the most difficult areas were the blue of the trousers because we have such a dominant black shading here. I sort of just didn't care. There's really not much you can do with this. I cannot reveal any more color over the black areas, so I just colored. Yeah. Hopefully it worked out. And so with the final two colors and the final touches being put to this piece, it's done. And oh boy, am I relieved. This piece was different. Unlike our previous attempts where I was able to freely tackle them with full confidence, this one required much more planning and was mentally a much more challenging project. Our starting position, we had a great image of Spider-Man to work with, but it was empty, void of any context and slap bang in the middle of the page. But with our purples, well, what do you think? Definitely a less is more approach with today's one and I am comfortably happy with the results. It's a unique approach for sure, an acquired taste, definitely. It's alright. Right? Unfortunately that is all we have time for today, I would like to thank you all for tuning in for today's purple video and if there is a colour you would like to see me use in the next video please do leave those comments down below and I'll be sure to gather up those little Ah, suggestions. I'll make a poll out of it and then we'll see what you put me through next. Can I trust you to... Hmm. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you soon. There you go. Look at that. Enjoy, enjoy seeing me use only reds. That went, um, that went well. It was a fun, fun video. Probably better than this one. It wasn't that great, was it? I'm, who likes purple anyway? Hopefully I don't have to... Ooh, am I gonna have to use green next time? Ah, you don't wanna see that. Nah, why would you subscribe to that?